Hello guys. Today, in this video, I will show you how to make lane stop effect in Head to Film 4 Pro. And I am so sorry about my poor English. And actually, I am not professional for film editing. But I hope you find something useful in this video. Alright, let's get started. Okay, let's make a new composite shot. And import the clip you want to use. And open the Mocha head film. And tracking the surfaces. Actually, I already tracked. And uh, I tracked three places. And already sorbed 92% quality and export data. Alright, let's get back to head of film and import the uh, data, camera tracking data. So, as you can see, the camera tracking is pretty work well work pretty well. I don't know which is correct glamour anyway. And and we need just uh, only camera tracking data. So copy and paste it for the main composite shot. Now Camera tracking data is applied to main composite shot. Let's add the particle simulator to make rain. So rename it rain and change it 3D plane. And once you change that the mysterious window appears here and the particles uh, only appears in the inside of that window let's change the speed to 2000 and uh, scale it a little bit smaller and what I'm looking for uh, okay particle per second let's raise it up to 2000 okay now we have the particles bursting everywhere and the particles that only appears in the mysterious window there so you have to scale it bigger bigger and bigger <laughs> you know and let's change it change the shape to cube so once you change the shape, the particles are born inside of uh, that cube. Okay, let's let's change the shape of the cube. And let's set the cube above the camera to make rain looks uh, falling from sky. So we're making kind of like rainy cloud and it's, it looks pretty well, yes. And in my case, the camera is moving slightly left, so set the cloud left a bit. And scale the particles a little bit smaller 
and let's check the result e okay it looks so nice so far so nice so far anyway let's make a lane stop add the keyframe on the time scale when you use the power in your clip I add two keyframes uh, one is to keep lane falling and the other one is to make lane stop so let's change the uh, time scale to 0 plus percent and I use smooth keyframe by the way kaboom now we have badass lane stopping effect oh I forgot to make lane falling straight down so let's change the trajectory to target here it is target so now particles are moving forward to target position so change the target position to minus 10,000 and the particles are kind of going down actually I think maybe there is more way to make lane fall maybe I'm stupid but you know simple is best I'm sure it it is pretty simple right so as you can see the particles are going straight down yeah we've got great result yeah so now let's make lane falling again as we did just before add the two keyframes and this time change the time scale to 100 and so what i'm looking for what i'm doing what i'm doing okay let's check the result falling and stop and trucking so well great and falling again now we're talking yeah and let's duplicate the main clip and move it above the particles and uh, move the camera layer to belly under there so now we add the set mat effect to the main clip we just duplicated which is above the particle layer and change source layer to lane so set mat is kind of like chroma key by the source layer and once you change the matte source to luminance oh no I, fo I forgot to change the set matte source you suck uh, okay anyway let's add a displacement effect and uh, change the source layer to lane then background layer is displaced by the shape of lane it can make fake light reflection through the lane drops and don't forget to change that setting to luminous because lane is only white so as you can see in the viewer it looks spacey boyabaya thing everywhere in the viewer so let's change the set mat setting i forgot just before so source layer to lane and matte source to luminance and what? Why it's black? Hey, what happened? Okay, I find the camera is turned off. So, once you turn off the camera, you can't see the particles. So now, I hope you understand what I did. I made a lane drop which can see through background. It looks amazing, isn't it? And if you want to change shape of lane drops, you can change texture in particle simulator settings but today I am not going to change it I am so sorry and you can change 
how big a reflection as you want. Uh, by the way, am I talking correctly? I don't think so. I, I'm I'm so wondering right like now. So anyway, let's duplicate the lane particle simulator layer, and let's check which layer is set to source layer. In my case, it's second layer. So I changed the name of third layer to raindrop and let's apply blah to third layer and also rename second layer to rain mask which is to make set mat effect function and now change the position of layer and uh, applying the blah to second layer raindrop and as you can see, the raindrops looks like raindrops. But when rain is falling, you cannot see through the every single raindrops. So let's turn it off. So you can use slice tool to divide clip and find the timing of rain start to moving or stopping. So let's set it turn on or off. You can turn it off with the medama mark. Oh, eye button right there. Or just remove the layer is okay. Now we have great result here. Amazing, isn't it? So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Lane stopping tutorial is that's all. And if you want to know my original shockwave effect, please subscribe and wait for it. It will be coming soon. What? It'll be soon. Post on YouTube. On my channels. Please subscribe and uh, anyway. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Yeah.